Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Justin here and we are on free code camp and we will be doing one of the algorithms within the coding interview prep section here. And the one that we are looking at today is no repeats, please. So I'm going to give you guys a warning before we continue to go on. This will be extremely hard if we don't have any uh, helper functions. Uh, let me read the directions first. It says, return the number of total permutations of the provided string that don't have repeated consecutive letters. Assume that, ass assume that all characters in the provided string are each unique. Okay. For example, AAB should return two because he has six total permutations. These are all the permutations, but only two of them, the ABA and ABA, these are different by the way, because the two A's are different, don't have the same letter. In this case, A repeating. Okay. So. A lot of things to go over here, especially if you didn't study math too much growing up. So permutations of a set is pretty much all the different ways that you could order the elements in the set. So for AAB, we have all six of these. Now, th this is like a two part question. The first part is you gotta come up with all the permutations. And after that, you gotta pick out the ones that don't have the repeats and just count them, right? Um, the first part of getting all the permutation, this one is a real doozy right here. So this is extremely hard to do. Um, what I ended up doing was I made a whole separate video on, on an algorithm called the heaps algorithm. You can find in the links below. Uh, but for this free code camp algorithm here, we're going to be using the function that I create in that video and we're going to use it here. So guys, if you guys are interested in how to uh, create the heaps algorithm, then please watch that video. I'll post the links again in the description below. But for those that either have watched that video or just want to continue on with this algorithm here, you could find the, um, the code for the function for the heaps algorithm right here on my gist. So again, this will also be in the links in the description below right here. So make sure you check that out because we are going to use this function called get permutations. So let me just paste this over here, paste it to your code. And let me just explain to you what this big function does. It accepts an array and it gives you an, an output, an array of arrays that gives you all the different permutations. So let's test this out. Okay. And remember this function accepts an array. Uh, we're given a string, right? So we got to somehow convert that string to an array, but let me just test out this get permutation to show you guys what it does. So let's say I console logged the result of get permutations and we're going to give it the array a, a, b, like so, kind of like their example. I run the code and this is what I get. So I get all the different permutations an array of all the different types of permutations that we could have for that, right? So this is what the function does. And this is what we're going to be using to tackle this question here. So guys, um, as I usually do, Please, if you haven't tried this video, this uh, algorithm out before, please pause the video here now. You could get, you could use my heaps algorithm. I highly recommend you use this function here. Use this and try to solve this on your own. So I'm gonna assume if you're still watching, uh, you have tried the uh, algorithm out yourself and now you're just watching to check out how I do it. Okay, so let me bring this over here. And let's get rid of this console log because we know what this get permutations function does. Okay, I'm gonna put it below our get permutations function. Now, what do we have to do? Remember what I said, this function accepts an array, right? Not a string. So let's convert this string to an array. So there's more than one way to do this. We could just do const r of it is um, string.split where we split it at every single character that will give us an array. So let me console log that. A, A, B, so you split our string, A, A, B string to an array. Uh, another way that we could do this, and I like this better. I don't know why I haven't done this before, but someone in my YouTube, one of my other YouTube videos pointed this out and it's a really good help. Thank you, by the way, if you're still watching this. And you could just make an array, an empty array like this, and just spread the string. Strings, you could spread. This is a spread operator. We're just comma separating all the characters in the string. This is another way, a lot more cleaner in my opinion, to split a string. So let's see if that gives me the same thing and it does. Okay, so by the way, again, thank you so much, the uh, YouTuber who, who pointed this out to me. Thank you very much. I'll be using this for my code base from now on. I don't know why I never really spread strings before. 
All right, but let's continue going. So now that we have our array, we could get our list of permutations. Uh, maybe I'll just call it const perms. And we will call this get permutations function, which does the heaps array, and we will pass in the array. Now, just to make sure that we're on the right track, let me console log the perms. And I do get all the permutations. So now we have a couple options, right? Remember, uh, we initially got this string as a string, not as an array. But the permutations that we have here are just arrays. So we might be inclined to convert all of these back to a string, which is easy to do, but we could just call the map function by doing perms.map, um, get every single permutation, and just join it back to a string. So this is one way we could convert all of these arrays back to a string, but we don't really need to because they don't care about the actual strings. They only care about the count of the non-repeating ones, right? So we have no reason to really do this. So I'm not going to do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through my perms array right here. So let's do that. I'm going to do a for of loop. Let's do for const perm of perms. And what do we want to do with each permutation that we're looping over, each of these guys? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that there, that a current, uh, we're going to loop through each element here, and we're going to just compare it to the next one and make sure they're not the same, OK? So let's do that. And before we do that, we also got to keep track of a count of how many non-repeats there are, right? So I'm going to, right above the for loop, I'm going to write let count we're going to initialize that as zero. And whenever we find an array that doesn't have repeating characters, we will increment this count right here. So let's see. I am going to do a for loop. For, we're going to loop through the singular array, this iteration within the perms. Uh, remember that all has characters at each of its elements. We're going to loop through that using a traditional for loop. Let i is zero. Now, this is where I got to be very careful. I want to go to, not through every single iteration, but to the second last one. I want to do this one and also iterate this one, but not the last one. Because if we go to the last one, he doesn't have a next element to compare it to, right? So it doesn't make sense to go to the last one. So I'm going to do i is less than perm.length minus one and i plus plus. We're going to increment it by one. And how do we compare? If perm at index i is equal to perm at index i plus one, if the current one is equal to the next one, then we have repeating characters, right? So we will say, um, hmm, we got to somehow know whether our current permutation is repeating or not. So before we loop through it, I am going to assume that it is true. It is no repeating. Let has repeats, and I will say that is false. It doesn't have repeats. I'm going to assume that it doesn't have repeats, but the moment we encounter this if condition here, we will say has repeats is true, and let's break out of this loop because we don't have to loop through this any longer. As long as there's at least one repeat, we're done, right? If it never did have repeats, it would never go inside this if loop. So this has repeats will always remain false. And after our for loop, I will do if not has repeats, then what? Then we're going to increase the counter. Otherwise, don't do anything. All right, so this should give us a correct count of all the non-repeating uh, permutation. So after that, let's not return the string, but let's return the count. Let me run the code for this one. Let's console log the result of this. And I get two. So let's see if free code camp is satisfied with this solution here. I run the test and we pass. Okay, now let's analyze our code for a bit and see if we could optimize a certain points. Maybe not optimize, but maybe come up with a different way to solve this, right? So we have a for loop here. We're looping over each of our iteration. And within that, we're looping again to each of the uh, permutations. So is there any, this is right now O to the n squared, right? Never mind the fact that we're also using this get permutations function that I have given you guys here, which is the heaps algorithm. By the way, if you're curious, this heaps algorithm, uh, the time complexity is O to the n factorial for those that know what a factorial is. So this is a very 
efficient uh, algorithm to give you all the different permutations of an array. But what we're interested in is not so much that right now, is this one right here. So no matter what, we have to loop through each of the permutation and check. And within each of the permutation, we still have to check to see if it has the repeating characters or not. So I'm not really sure uh, a better way to optimize this solution. However, uh, so instead of optimizing the time complexity, how about we just try to optimize this code a little bit? We don't, we're doing this check right here, get the current one and then check the next one. So we could refactor this to make it a little bit more cleaner by using regular expression. So I'm on this regexr. Uh, most of you guys probably know what this is. By the way, regular expression, it just is a pattern matching. It pattern matches in strings. And uh, what the regular expression I have here is it gives you a repeating character. It matches anything that repeats like, like these. Do you, guys, do you guys see these ones that's highlighted here? It, re it matches all the repeating characters. And this is what we want to use. But again, the important thing is regex works on strings. Right now, we're dealing with arrays, right? So let's try this. If I'm going to put regular expression here, uh, regular expression should always be between the two four slashes like so. Put a capturing group, put dot to say that it is uh, matching any characters except line breaks. So that's what we want. And we want to get this capturing group, this first capturing group. And we just want to make sure that it repeats more than once by using this plus. So if this dot test tests a built-in JavaScript method that works for regular expressions, let's test our perm. But remember, perm is an array, right? So we want to convert that to a string. So one way we could do that is by joining it with an empty string like so that will make it into a back to a string. So we're testing this, and if this is true, that means it does have repeating characters, but what we want is if it's not true. If it's not true, that means it doesn't have repeating characters, then we want to increment our count like so. So I don't know about you guys, but this looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. But now let's see if uh, free code cam likes this too. Make sure you get everything, including our get permutations function. Let's paste this in, run the code, and it passes. All right, guys, so that was my no repeats, please algorithm here on free code camp. Uh, guys, unfortunately, I'm not sure there was a better way to solve this other than using this get permutations function here. I actually made that video just for this uh, free code camp tutorial here. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, maybe you guys have some better ways of doing this. Please let me know in the comment section below. Guys, if you guys like my content, please click like and subscribe to my content. I release these free code camp tutorial videos on almost a daily basis, but not only that, I have React tutorial videos. I have JavaScript tutorial videos. Uh, anything related to coding, you will find it here. So guys, please click, uh, please subscribe below and I will see you guys next time. Happy coding.